Hey everybody, Daniel Mosnet here with Cowboy Charcoal and we have got a great chicken recipe for you today. Now this is a chicken recipe that is super simple, really easy to make. We're doing it over oak and hickory lump charcoal and we're gonna use some pecan chunks to get a nice mild smoke flavor infused into the chicken. Now, the nice thing about this recipe is using the whole bird, which is relatively inexpensive to purchase. You can do a few of these at a time, so you have a lot of great meal prep for all week. So have this bird for your winter, winter chicken dinner Sunday night, and then you have all the recipe, the meal prep, the Chinese chicken salad, uh, the enchiladas, anything that you wanna make all week long, you've got a great base of chicken and fantastic flavor. So here are a few steps. First, we wanna prepare a dual zone fire. Like we've been talking about a lot, we like the dual zone fire because it allows you to get some great heat, but not burn everything so you're not right over any direct coals or any direct fire. So I've got some indirect heat going right now. I've got a zone here, which is pretty hot, and I've got a cooler zone here off to the side. I'm gonna add a couple pecan chunks right to the fire. I'm gonna add a couple more. Added about four pecan chunks to the oak and hickory lump charcoal. So what I want to do is I want to wait till this really starts smoking. Once the blue smoke starts to roll, then I'm going to put the chicken on. I want the smoke to happen right at the beginning. So we just get some of that early smoke flavor, and then we're going to let the oak and hickory lump take us all the way through with all the heat that it brings and that hickory smoke as well. We're going to let that take the chicken the rest of the way. This chicken's gonna cook for about an hour and a half, maybe or so, at about 350 degrees. You can cook it lower and slower if you want. We're gonna pull ours at 165, but this is a great recipe to take it even further if you want pulled chicken. So tons of different options with this recipe. It really depends on what you like specifically. So let's take a look here at the bird and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So I've had the bird out for about an hour, so it starts to dry out. I've washed it. Make sure you look inside and make sure there's no giblets or anything like that that need to come out. Those are usually in a little bag, so you wanna pull all of those out. So we've taken it out. We're letting it sit for about an hour. Make sure that it doesn't uh, overheat or get too warm. And we've washed it, patted it dry, so you can see it's relatively dry now. And now we're just gonna take a little bit of butter, and we're gonna take that butter and we're just gonna rub all sides of it because we want really crispy skin. So if you add butter to your recipe, it's really gonna help the skin crisp, as well as taking it out for an hour. Taking it out for an hour is also gonna help you get that cr nice crispy skin all over the bird. So once you have the entire bird rubbed with butter, we're gonna take a little more butter and we're gonna stick our fingers underneath on the breast side and we're just gonna make a little cavity and we're just gonna start to kind of push our finger right between the skin and the meat of the bird. You're gonna take a little bit more butter and you're gonna put it right into that pocket and you're gonna try to rub as much of the butter in between there as you can. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna help to keep your chicken nice and moist inside and it's also gonna help to crisp the chicken skin from the other side. And as the butter starts to melt, it's gonna to get to all other pockets. You can push your finger down into the leg and put some of that butter down into the leg as well. We've used about, this is about two tablespoons of butter. So once you feel like you've got enough butter added there, you're done. Now, for this recipe here, we're gonna add, I like to add two different types of spice. We're gonna add a basic chicken rub, which is our Jack Daniels chicken rub. We're just gonna sprinkle that all the way across the top Get, make sure you get a nice even coat all the way down on the legs. And then we're gonna need to flip it over on the wings. Make sure you get it all around. And then I like a little bit of rotisserie chicken. Again, use any type of seasoning that you like. You can use a little garlic salt. You can use a little rosemary salt. You can use just a little garlic powder. You wanna make sure you get some into the cavity as well. The more flavor you put on the chicken, the more flavor you're gonna taste. Because we wanna make sure that we season both sides. 
Make sure your base is covered all the way through. Just kind of rub it in there if you need to. And then a little bit more, oops, of the rotisserie chicken there as well. And you get to make sure you get a little bit inside the cavity also. You can stuff this inside if you want. You can put an onion in there. You can put a carrot in there just to get, add a little bit more flavor. But really, that's, that's about it. That's all there is to this. Let's check on our pecan chunks and see how they're settling down. We want to make you see there's a good bit of fire going in there, so we may need to close our lid just a little bit and get our temperature right. So that's all we're going to do with the chicken. If you feel like it, you can trust your chicken, but we're just going to put it on the grill just like that. Okay, so now that we've got our oak and hickory lump going and we've got our pecan chunks, they're fully engaged, they're lit, they're on fire right now. They'll keep burning just like this if we let them, but we're gonna close the top and let this fire kind of settle down a little bit so we get more of that smoke. And then we'll just close the top. We'll give it maybe a minute or so. We'll let all of that fire die out. I'm gonna close the bottom so we have no air flowing through the bottom and we'll just let this come up to a nice smoky temperature. We're looking for about 350 degrees. Look on my gauge here and we're at about 345. So we're looking perfect. All right, we'll see our fire pick up a little bit every time we open the lid. We're gonna put our breast side down because that's the thickest part of the meat. So that's gonna take the longest to cook and get to 165. So we want that a little bit closer to the heat. So it turns uh, 165 in about 90 minutes or so. We'll close this, we'll let it smoke for a little while, and we'll come back in about an hour and a half and check it. All right, so we've been cooking for about 90 minutes or so. I just temped the chicken and we're at 165 internal. So that's exactly where we want it. All right, so now that our chicken is ready to come off, one of the other tricks that I like to do is I like to get a foil tray like this one here and I add some beer, right, to, to two places. One, I'm gonna put it in the tray and use it for me. But we'll put that right down on the coals and that'll start boiling and it's gonna keep the humidity up inside. So as you're cooking this, we don't have a real dry environment. We have a nice humid environment as that beer starts to evaporate and impart some of that flavor right into the chicken itself. So this is what you want it to look like when we're done. Man, look at that. That's what our chicken looks like when it's done. And you can see just from the outsides, you can see how nice and, and you can hear it, how crispy that skin is all the way around. All right, so that's our chicken. Easy, simple, really one of the easiest things that you can cook on the grill. All we did is we put a little bit of seasoning on it. We put it on some oak and hickory lump cowboy charcoal with some pecan wood chunks and let that cook. Let the grill and the, and the charcoal and the chunks do all of the work. Then you can go inside and hang out with your family. Remember, if you want more great recipes just like this, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. We've got all kinds of great content just waiting for you to enjoy and really learn how to use all these different wood flavors to make the most out of your barbecue. I'm Daniel Mosnet with Cowboy Charcoal. Thanks for joining us this week. Until next week, Keep cooking with Cowboy.